Yeah! 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 Charlotte's Most Dangerous Cool Noir Vazi Podcast. It's your boy, C.O. McLean. It's your girl, Trap C. It's Terrence Unscripted. It's Humble. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go. Here we go. Every fucking week. We're going to have to, we're gonna have to fix this nigga. What's wrong? I said it's Humble. That's my name, ain't it? No. Ooh. No, that is not your fucking name. That's not how you say your motherfucking name Ooh. when we do the motherfucking intros. Ooh. Okay? You got to put some oof into it. Oh, that's a song. What? Put the little oof in into it. it. Yep. Put some oof in it. Oh. We're going to try this again. Cheers, Charlotte Montaigne, this is Kudo Vazi Podcast. Your boy, Sio McLean. It's your girl, Trap C. It's Terrence Unscripted. It's your boy, Humble. My humble, like Lee, face ass. Let's get this shit started, man. Come on. <laughs> what are the move for y'all shit tonight? While you're laughing, make sure you like, subscribe, share, and comment yes. on this episode. Yes, please, please. Yes, because we got the grumpy shucking, jiving, and, and shit out here with the multicolored yes. fucking. I think it's the multicolored jacket he got on. That's why he acted like a fucking Grinch. It's the light skinned niggas with the multicolored jackets and shit. Always got you. Giving, fucking problems honestly, Fran is giving Chris Brown today. Oh, see, Breezy. He's giving my humble Breezy hey, today. My humble Breezy. Yeah, my humble Breezy today it is. My humble Breezy. Hey, shout out to my man DJ Polo in the background, you know what I mean? Polo. Polo. Ooh, it is Grammy night. Tonight we are actually here watching the Grammys. When y'all hear this show, the Grammys gonna be over, but we are live on Facebook. So yes. uh and we're watching the Grammys and shit. Shout out to uh, who just won that? SZA just won uh, an Taylor award. Swift. Taylor Swift just won an award. You know? Hello, Taylor. Hello, Taylor. Yeah. You know, she's all over the fucking and she just Taylor. announced her yeah, album and shit. I just cannot stand her. It's great PR. It's great fucking PR work. She's uh, got a Super Bowl boyfriend. And she just won a fucking Grammy and just announced an album in April. Oh, yeah. She's fucking winning. They said Travis Kelsey um, created a fade. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they mm-hmm. say he created a fade. So mm-hmm. <laughs> I never knew that. I thought the fade was around way before this man was born. But hey, you know. Taylor Swift is fucking winning. Shout out to Taylor Swift. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, or not. Yeah, let's shout out uh, to Beyonce, what? Giselle, Nose Carter. She got to do it. Yeah, just shout Beyonce, out to Beyonce, Giselle. With, with, with Giselle, but see, that's oh, another one, Terrence. Like, what does she even got to do with this conversation? I just wanted to insert that in with as us? a oh. as a found one of the founding members of the Charlotte Beehive. I just wanted to set that in there. That's all. Okay. Oh, uh, the Charlotte Beehive. Yeah, it's the Charlotte Beehive. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Shout yeah. out to Megan. Just don't the kill beat. nobody. Why are we Megan. shouting out random ass people? Shout out to Megan Thee Stallion. Shout, shout out to Lotto. Shout out my mama. Shout out to Mama Humble. Hey, shout, get it. Shout out my wife. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. Shout out my wife. I love you, baby. We back, baby. Shout out to King Crab. No advisory exclusive. Yeah, we back, baby. No advisory <laughs> exclusive. <laughs> CEO shout is to back with his wife. Meal. I had a King Crab earlier by myself. You got a, a King yeah, Crab yeah, meal by yourself? Yeah, I wonder why I'm fucking hangry. Delicious. Huh? Oh. Because oh. Oh. what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Because she talking about I had the king crab. He talking about something. Yeah, because yeah, I'm, I'm fucking, fucking hangry. <laughs> God damn. Did she not feed you? No, because tell him why. Because oh, the plan talking. was. We was talking about. The plan uh, was at 11 we to go get king crab. Right? Uh-huh. And he said five we minutes later because right? he was tired. And five minutes turned into two hours. I'm not going to continue waiting any longer than two hours when I'm already hangry, hangry. when I wake up. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go get my food and I'm going to let you continue to get your rest. I'm not going to argue with you. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm going to go about my day. Oh. I mean, drink to that. A bottle? Mm-hmm. Anyway, celebrity birthday. I don't argue on public platforms. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, no advisory. We real, real raw, nitty gritty, dirty. Mm-hmm. We get down to the real nitty gritty here, okay? No fake nitty shit like the rest gritty. of these podcasts and <clears throat> events. Places. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's hit, hit, hit your thing. Huh? Let's go. Let's move on. Yeah. Now. I was, I, yeah. I, no, okay. I, I, I was about to do. We uh, gonna do some. Okay. I fucked it up. Y'all don't even know what you trying to do. <laughs> Hot topics with Trevi. Number one. Yeah, okay. Rosa Parks. R. I. P. Today is her birthday. Is Rosa? Oh, today Rosa Parks' birthday. How old was she to be today? I don't know. You don't know. Old as hell. Old and dead. Old as hell. Siri. <laughs> how old is Rosa Parks? Old niggas really. I hate me hearing off. old niggas <laughs> talk to Siri. <laughs> She'd have been 92. No, no, at age of death, she was 92. Damn, okay. so she would have been like 100. Damn. Yeah. Shout out to Rosa Parks, man. Shout out to Rosa Parks. Because without Rosa Parks, a lot of y'all wouldn't have been able to get on that um, Charlotte area public transit, on that cast bus at the bus stop. And yeah. I've been seeing a lot of y'all favorites at the bus stop. Okay. Yep. So. Y'all motherfuckers have been in the, f- well, in the front. No, no. In the back? In the back. In the back. In the back of in the, the bus. In the back of the bus. So there were no seats. Shout out to Miss And P. no AC. I'm Rosa weak. Parks pushing P. Love it. Mm-hmm. Up next, real Boston Richie. 
He's a rapper. See, who the mm. fuck is that? I know you that? don't know him. He's a rapper. Mm. Okay, you're gonna have to stop giving us these fucking no names. Who the fuck no, is you this? don't know him. The yeah, people know, know him. him. The people know him. What you fucking know. song does he have? A lot of songs. What's yeah. g- give me one hit record? I can play one right now. Give me a hit record. It better yeah. be a hit record. Hit it record. is a hit record. I don't record. listen to his music, but I know hey, him for other in. things. So shout out to fucking in here. Allegedly, hear that shit. What's his name again? Boston Richie. Boston Richie. Alleged. Boston Snitchy. Put it in there. Okay. I know the people know the song. Do y'all know who this is? Y'all know we're going to get copyrighted? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. They're going to they gonna mark this out. Okay, I said cut off. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, I don't know what the fuck is it. Boston Richie? I, yeah. I only know him because his, you know, his woman. The scandal. Yeah, the scandal behind his woman. That's it's, I wouldn't even call it a scandal. I mean. Allegedly. I don't see nothing wrong with it, but I see how people see something wrong with it. I think it's perspectives, and the perspective yeah. right now is just not okay. She and if you don't know CEO, he's 27 and his girlfriend just turned 18, but they've been together for some years. So people yeah. were saying basically he groomed her. You he was talking to an underage girl, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Perspectives. Perspectives and music. Yeah. Listen, I don't know who you are, sir. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know who you are. Hope, hopefully you, you have it's success also an in alleged your rap. career. Yeah, um, alleged. That's not alleged. That's that's true. He snitched. The paperwork. Oh, I said allegedly. Oh, sorry, nigga. You said he snitched. He's a snitch. Oh, he's a snitch. He, now. Yeah, it's, it's paperwork on him. Oh, he is six nine. He ain't that bad, but yeah, no, he's, he's a snitch. Oh, okay. Six nine is you know, like OG oh, paperwork, snitch. pedophile. Well, well, you know what? And uh, and 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 I don't want to harp on this too long, but in six nine defense, I think anybody in that situation would have snitched. I honestly, in, in in his situation, you had a whole gang of niggas that done fucked your girl, that's stealing your money, that done kidnapped you and shit. <laughs> and I'm supposed to be loyal to your ass <laughs> after y'all niggas done did all this shit to me the way and, it, and took my money and all that. The way it sounds out loud when you say it out loud is crazy. Right. It's, that's like two people. it's like a two people movie though. Like, that's what the fuck happened. And y'all supposed to sit crazy. there and be like, well, did these niggas do anything to you? And are you, g-? nigga? I'm telling. Yeah, <laughs> this I'm nigga screaming. did it. He fucking girl. He he did too. I'm he screaming. took the money. He beat me up and put me in a, in a. Yeah, nigga, I'm telling. Like so, you know, people talk about this. It's 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 levels to snitching, right? Is is levels. I mean, a snitch is a snitch, no matter the level. But right. But anybody in this room in that situation would have told. Speak for yourself. I, Come on now, you would have told. You would have told. Speak for yourself. You would have told, bro. There's no way niggas that you only met through the music that leached on you because you got money, stole your money, fucked your girl, kidnapped you, did all types of negative shit for you, and you going to sit there and defend them? No way. Nigga, I'm telling. There's a way. There's no way. There's a way of telling without actually telling. I just wanted to put that out there. Well, well, how would way? Okay, we're gonna move on. Shout out to 6 9 because we're gonna be right on 6 thing, 9 and he ain't even one of my topics. No, I ain't no. giving him no time. No, no Cameron, time. Cameron turned 48 today. Cameron is 48. Oh, let's 48. give a round of applause for my nigga Killer Kid. Damn, all oh, my fucking <laughs> rapping friends is aging, man. 48. Damn, man. Cam created the color pink. He truly did. Yeah, he, mean, yeah, right, he, he right. right. For the culture, he did. For the culture. For, for Damn, sure. that nigga 48. <laughs> Killer. You see what I was saying earlier, Terrence? Right. We're going to go ahead and move on to the celebrity hot topics. Number one, this one was, I'm not really surprised by it, but I am a little bit surprised by the amount. Mm-hmm. Michael Jordan. Okay. He mm-hmm. had six pair of shoes, also known as the Dynasty Collection. Uh-huh. The These were the six pair of shoes that he wore between 1991 and 1998 in his, in his championship, championship game. Oh. These just recently sold for eight million thirty two thousand eight hundred dollars to an anonymous buyer. <laughs> that's too low though. Eight mil? That's way too low. Damn. You think that's low? That's way too low. When I saw that number, I'm like, yo, Damn. who the fuck lowballed the shit out them sneakers? Eight million? That should be for one pair of sneakers. Eight million for six pairs? And those were the mm. final clinching sneakers autograph. Yeah, he did autograph them all, and they were all displayed in um, the Last Dance uh, special that he did. <laughs> Whoever yeah. got that is gonna flip that for like thirty, forty mil. Probably. That was a that was a steal. Eight million dollars. 
For a nigga that got it? Did they say who got it? Mm, it's anonymous. anonymous. Wow. Yeah, they That's don't crazy. know. They don't know. Piss me off. It's one of these rapping ass niggas. Who bought it? Way too low. To be honest, though, I really don't think so. I think it's like some Middle Eastern man in another country that was like, oh, okay, yeah. That saw a deal. Yeah, and was like, okay, oh, wow. let me grab these. Let me grab wow. these. Because so I, I know flip Americans out. and they love consuming and spending money on shit they don't need. So let wow. me, yeah. That is, eight million is one pair of those sneakers. Though these signed. are signed. Actual worn Sweat. sneakers yep. from each of his final clinching games. Mm-hmm. Wow. And a nigga bought six pairs of those for $8 million. That is mm-hmm. a fucking steal. Probably in Abu Dhabi. I, I cannot wait until they release the name of who bought it. I'm so anxious to know. That's a fucking steal. Shout out to you. You got a steal. Speaking of. People, mm-hmm. I guess. I was going to say steal, but he ain't really steal. He just like driving while mm-hmm. intoxicated. Patrick Mahomes' daddy. Yep. He done did. got arrested again. Yes, he did. Again? In yep. Texas for a, a DWI. <clears throat> driving <clears throat> while intoxicated. <throat> this is his third DWI. His third DWI. Why is he still driving? Listen, so the last one that a lot of people are asking is because the last one that he had was in 2018. He pleaded guilty to it, and he ended up getting sentenced to 40 days in jail. Right. That they allowed him to do every other weekend. So he did it in 2000 and what, 21 and 2019 and 2020. He did um, every other weekend. He spent a weekend in jail just to do his 40 days. <laughs> that was the Patrick Patrick Mahomes um, effect. Child. This nigga got three DWIs. If that was one of us, one DWI, we out of here. We broke. There's no way we yeah. get back on the road. My thing, we got three. My thing is this though, like you, you, uh, you, Patrick Mahomes senior. Get a driver, right? Get a right. right. Get a driver. Driver. How right. old is Patrick Mahomes pops? He looked no. old in that picture. He yeah. looked like he. he I think isn't he, he probably 60s? like yeah. Is okay. He looked old as fucking. At least, shot. at least mid fifties. Siri. Oh gosh. How old is Patrick Mahomes' father? We're going to title this episode, Old Niggas and Phone. <laughs> He's 53. Not, he not. looks 75. Wow. That, that is not 53. how he looked in that day. All that drinking mugshot. catching up to him. Yeah. Wow, 53. Shout out to you. That's young as fuck. Mm. Keenan Thompson. I'll be talking talk about, about this it. nigga. Oh, we need to talk about this nigga. Talk about it. What? He just did an interview on The Breakfast Club. Uh-huh. Did y'all see the interview? I saw clips I, of it. In the interview, it. he talked about how his accountant stole $1.5 million from oh, him. Yeah. Had the IRS coming after him for oh. failure to pay taxes. Oh, yeah. shit. Oh. And basically, he was like, he felt upset. So, he ended up taking his accountant to, to court mm-hmm. because you stole $1.5 million from oh. me. He won the court case and saw no money from it. Oh, So, he's no still money? down $1.5 mil. Yep. I ain't see no money. I think he proved that. One point five got stolen from him where because go, all where that money find? went back to IRS because oh. he didn't pay his taxes. Yeah. Oh. Where they go? Yeah, where they, where they gonna find? Where you gonna get the money from? Yeah, That's he still owed the IRS for not paying taxes. But that was the in tax the 90s. accounting fault. Yeah, but it, it doesn't matter. It was the, the tax accountant's fault on behalf of Keenan Thompson. Oh. Yeah. Keenan Thompson technically, according to the IRS, did not did pay his pay taxes the for the so years. He had to pay that, so they want their money. They felt bad for it. They probably gave him an extension to get everything together, but he still had to pay that money. Yep. Damn. This is why you have to be. Condescent of the people mm-hmm. that you have in your circle mm-hmm. that's especially handling finances. Yep. And he spoke on that too. So um somebody I'm not I can't remember who it was, but somebody on the Breakfast Club asked him, like, how did you even meet this accountant? Right. How? And he said that this was the same tax accountant that his parents had used before. Wow. Like he was familiar with this guy. Too. And he said, you know, like one time his parents got audited by the IRS and mm. this accountant did amazing work. To mm-hmm. get them through the audit, and they just felt really safe with him. Mm-hmm. So they basically signed a, um, oh, I cannot think of the term, but they basically signed the rights over to the accountant um, for mm-hmm. Keenan Thompson because he was underage, and they thought they was doing it to, like his mom did it, thinking that it was going to protect his son and mm-hmm. keep his money safe. Well, come to find out, the accountant was stealing the money and doing mm-hmm. shady business deals behind Keenan Thompson's back. Mm-hmm. So basically, the accountant was making all these deals, saying Keenan Thompson would be here, he would make appearances here, and then when he didn't show up, now Keenan Thompson's image is being affected by mm-hmm. it because it's yep. looking like he's not showing up not for showing obligations. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he talked about how you know this was like very detrimental to him. He was very sad. He went into depression because this is like around the same time he found out was the same time that he quit doing he quit working for Nickelodeon. Mm-hmm. So he didn't have any gigs between 1999 and 2002 mm-hmm. his next gig didn't come into what 2003 when he was on saturday night live yeah. mm-hmm. 
And even with Saturday Night Live, they just um, recently gave him like a commemoration because he's the longest standing Saturday Night Live, I guess, cast member mm. right yep. now currently. Yep. So, damn, damn, damn. damn. Right. See, again, damn. you got to be. And, but I get to that point because it was a family accountant. So he felt like he trusted them, you know, in doing that. But uh that was your mother's and father's accountant. Right. Yeah. You know, you got to have your people that you trust that that's tenured to you right. to put in position to handle that type of money right. coming in. Because, you know, his, they're his intentions for his, that. The person's intentions for their parents wasn't the same intentions for you. Yeah. Right. You know, because yeah. you probably was bringing in way more money than what your parents were doing. And right. he, he literally said that. He said, in hindsight, if I could do things differently, I would have picked a different account. And he said, yeah, the guy was familiar with working with people making thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000, but not millions not like millions I was dollars. Right. Right. And he saw opportunity and rightfully so. He took it. He was like, now, am I mad mm -hmm. that he did it? Yes. But do I understand probably why he did it? Yes. He yep. had a family. He had to provide. And yes, you're getting paid for me. But yep. when you're stealing, that's money that nobody knows you're nobody taking this extra knows. money in right. your account. Right. You know. So... But at the end of the day, if you do wrong, the wrongdoing is going to come back, you know? So it's like, yeah, you may get away with it for the time being, but that shit will always come back. Yep, always, always come, come back. back. Every single time. Every, Every single time. time. Yeah. Every single time. So. Talk about always coming back. Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Stallion. Ooh, wee, this is good, it. baby. Nicki, baby. Well, you got us blocked on no advisory page, so I really ain't got a whole. That's my crazy! Phone. Shout out to Nicki Minaj for blocking us. That means Nicki blocked y'all. Yeah, she blocked. You've that's been blocked big. For years. That is big. For what? This that's was before my time. That was before your time because I was I, I I be fucking like I be just dogging everybody. I don't give a fuck because I want them to look at us <laughs> like. <laughs> that's crazy! Wow. Right. So we Nicki had the audacity. To block us because I guess something that was posted on the page that she didn't uh, take a liking to uh -huh. and blocked us. Wow. But we are on Nicki Minaj's block list. That's crazy. Fucking but we great. are not on her block list on Twitter. We're not. We're not. Mm -mm. So on your we, ass. You need to fuck her up on Twitter. On She's going to block your ass too. She's going to see no oh, well. advisory and block. Oh, she she, 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 she needs to spend a whole day just blocking people because. I mean. Uh, let me tell you, T. Sis is going out sad right now. Sis, okay? went, sis went on a whole 72 That's hour. Oprah? Yes. Yeah. Sis, okay, good. Sis, um, sis went on a whole 72 hour Twitter rant. Okay. On after Coke. Meg dropped that disc. On Coke. On Coke. I wholeheartedly believe this is not allegedly. I believe this was Coke fueled. No, no, I, no. For sure. I believe it was Coke. Wait, fueled. okay. I want to know where did this Coke uh, thing come from? I There were clips of her on, because she be on live all the mm -hmm. time. And mm -hmm. I keep trying to tell you, artists, stay off Instagram while you're doing your dirty vices and habits, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. Stay off Instagram. She was on Instagram, and there was a clip that circled a while, a while back mm -hmm. with white powder residue up under her nose, mm -hmm. and she was not getting her makeup done. Mm -hmm. Oh. So stay off of you. Oh. I don't knock anybody for whatever you do because oh. that's your choice. That's your life. You know, it's hard out here. So people got to cope however they want to cope. Mm -hmm. All right. She done already admitted to abusing pills mm -hmm. in the songs. Mm -hmm. So however you cope is however you cope. Not knocking her for that. But you on Instagram live and you doing that. With the white shit on your nose. And then now you're mad that that's what people are assuming. Are assuming. Right. Yeah. Right. But right. rightfully so, though. Right. So, you know. So now every time she goes on them Twitter binges or Instagram binges, Queen Radio binges, people automatically assume that she's, she's on, on coke. coke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to lie, though. Watching them clips from her Twitter rants... And lit like lit like watching like what well, reading everything that she was saying it was definitely coke. Yeah. Mm. If you have never been around a cokehead to know how cokehead acts when they okay. on coke, she has every single thing that you can exhibit for a cokehead. Damn, Nicki Minaj is a cokehead. Yeah, God that's damn. really what it is. Cause ain't no way a coke coke you on coke when you bring it up when you telling people you telling somebody to conjure up your dead. Mother, because mm -hmm. let me tell you, I was mm -hmm. so pissed when I seen that. As a person who's hey, both, Asia. both of my parents are passed away, right? Mm -hmm. Anybody tell me to conjure up my dead mama, bitch, I'm killing you. Okay, I am. I'm going I'm to kill you. Yeah, that that is some very severe. You know, like yeah. we were saying earlier, you don't play with the dead, mm -hmm. and you may not be spiritual, you may not be God believing, you may not be any of that, but you don't play with the spirit world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so now, what we're seeing now, if those of you have been keeping up with the beef, now what we're seeing is that karma. By her in the ass mm. boy is it biting 
or is it chomping? Talk about it, Sid. It's chomping in her ass. And can, I'm, 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 let me just say something before you get into the rest of that. See, the thing that. Um, like, see, I know of Nikki before Minaj mm-hmm. and what she was doing with the um, Teamsters and shit like that and Lou Star and all them niggas. Nikki Minaj can really rap, right? right? But, you know, once she got into the industry mm-hmm. and the industry will change the shit out of you and uh, portray you as something that they want you to be because they're putting the money and marketing behind you. Right. Right? So let's get that out of the way. Nicki Minaj can really rap. She can. Um, the, set, the thing about Nicki Minaj is when she came up in her ascend, there was really no female rapper because Foxy, the Kims, the E's of the world were done considerably right so Nicki minaj had this run where in categories they were still putting eve in categories and rappers that female rappers you have no recollection who the fuck they were Mm -hmm. and Nicki minaj was eating off that and because of that it 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 catapulted her faster than what she would have been if she was in this era with all these rap female rappers Mm -hmm. now you know so she don't know how to take this shit. She don't know too how to... Too much competition Too much for competition her. for her. She don't know how to handle it. She don't know how to embrace the female rappers. She don't know because she was just so at the top with she no competition. With she didn't have to deal, she with, to deal women. with women. And now right. she got women yeah. that arguably Are really so good. Can, can rap just can rap. as well, if yeah. not better, than her. Yeah, she can't and she, she's threatened. She doesn't know what to mm. do. Like, get up on my good foot. That's the best you had since. That, uh, that diss track was so... That was horrible. It was that so was horrible. 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 And I know she can do better, because this is not the same lady that dropped Itty Biggie Piggy. Okay? Horrible. Not the same That's lady. the best thing she's ever done. Nikki can rap. Nikki can freaking rap. Let me, let me address this to all the barbs. Nobody hates Nikki for her craft and her music. Nikki is solidified as one of the greatest female rappers. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, she can really rap. Thanks. Yes, I think it's what, the attitude. I, I think that's why I said people have a hard time, and not even have a hard time. People have a hard time. N- separating the music from the artist but to be fair you really cannot do that because your personality and your person goes into the music Mm -hmm. and so i don't i am not a fan of hers because of the person right that lady's attitude is nasty that spirit is dark Uh and it has not always been like that and i'm wholeheartedly believe it is because of the stuff that she's been going through so I give her a, a smidge of grace because everybody gets a smidge of grace. You get a smidge of grace for that. Mm-hmm. But after a while, you're going to realize you got to stop doing that shit because mm-hmm. you had an opportunity to bring in these rapping young ladies young that ladies are starting. We them. really mm-hmm. should have by now had a ladies night part two. Okay? We should have had that by now. You and you, she was the perfect person to do that shit mm-hmm. with. Her, Cardi, and Megan on one song. Yeah, crazy. The lotto in it. Oh, my crazy. God. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. So yeah. So Nino. But again, that's why I was saying because when Nikki ascended, there was mm-hmm. no female rappers in it. Everything was thrown at Nikki as the queen because yeah. nobody. It was no competition it for wasn't. her. So that kind of stuck with her. And as she ascended and got into this newer generation with these female artists, and when Cardi B came about. It was That's over. That's why she hated Cardi B. She hated Cardi because, like, wait, I'm Nicki Minaj. What the fuck are you talking about, Cardi B? But Cardi B did her thing mm-hmm. and rightfully so got all the recollect- recollection mm-hmm. that she deserved. Then you got the lotto. Then you got this, hater. that, that. Right. Cardi went, works with other. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you're good. You're good. Cardi works with other female, female rappers, rappers in the industry. In her industry. and Meg, mm-hmm. when they did that WAP song. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. WAP is my shit. Mm-hmm. That right there is like, Nikki, you could have did that. You could have really did that. But you, you so mean and you so threatened and you so evil by right. this woman that instead of you embracing her, you're trying to push her away. And mm-hmm. it's only... Boosting her higher. And I'm yep. thinking about yep. all three of them on that WAP record would have been crazy. crazy. Yeah. And it's, it's crazy because, like CO said, like, I just think as you had the ch- opportunity to be that one, mm-hmm. and you would have solidified your spot in rap mm-hmm. history. Like, you would have been the opportunity to be that one. Her and Cardi could have plenty of records. Because to be fair, both of them are motor- motorsport. I love motorsport. Yeah, I was just about mm-hmm. to say, think about when they did the motorsport. Mm-hmm. Like, and I and I think her even when her and Meg did the Hot Girl Summer, Hot Girl Summer was a shit. And now mm-hmm. all three of y'all with all these young rappers, Lotto, you know what I'm saying, Montaleo, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, all these young rappers, you you just have missed opportunity. So you gonna have to get out that sis because that spirit is nasty. Mm-hmm. And until you do right by these women, nothing you good see, is hold on, come. look at the color purple fingers. Until you do right <laughs> by these women, everything you touch will crumble. <laughs> it will crumble. I'm gonna start sounding like Tory Lane's daddy. I, 
Rock Nation. Okay. <laughs> oh crumble. shit! Speaking of that, speaking of crumble. that, Whack One Hundred made a statement that people are not really paying attention to. Oh yeah. He said there was a young Asian lady that followed Megan Thee Stallion SUV. From the time they, uh, not the time when they left, but I guess in the midst of them driving and arguing and mm-hmm. followed them and has actual footage mm-hmm. of the actual shooting yep. that they try to throw under the bu- they under suppressed the rug. It. They, mm-hmm. Yep, Max, but they Max said team suppressed, suppressed it because it. it didn't fit into the narrative of their defense. Right, yep. but they saying that the private investigators are pushing to put that tape out and Whack One Hundred said. This tape come out, the whole narrative about Megan Thee Stallion is going to be out the window and her career is over. This is what WAC 100 said. But I personally thought, and you had alluded to it before, that the shooter was not Tory Lanez. I, I'm going to be the honest. Was I, still Kelsey. to this day, you cannot tell me Tory Lanez is the shooter. And not because mm-hmm. I'm saying like, oh, I just don't see it. He's too sure about blah, blah, blah. But because of science, mm-hmm. they said from jump, he had no gunshot residue on him. Mm-hmm. If you shot that gun, there is no way in hell you are not going to have gunshot residue on no you. No way now. It's a fact. You're, if you shoot a gun, you're going to have gunshot residue. Mm-hmm. Even if you are the shooter, you're going to have it. You're going to have blowback. You're going to have some type some of type something of from that gun, shooting Absolutely. that gun, if he would have really shot her. And he didn't. Mm-hmm. Kelsey had the GSR, mm-hmm. which is why I kept saying Kelsey is the shooter. Mm-hmm. Kelsey is who shot Meg. She but did. nobody want to hear me. But when it come out, just know I'm going to tell you. I was like, I, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, a, little, I'm a little biased because, and, and I don't know all the facts, so I try not to put opinions into this. Um I just think, however, as far as speaking on Tory Lanez, what a lot of people also missed about this, a lot of people that don't like Meg missed about this is he did not get arrested for, he got arrested initially off the gun charges. Exactly. And so regardless, even if it does come out where Kelsey the shooter and Meg, you know, lied about it, which if she did lie about it, I still going to give her grace because that means her and Kelsey have been best friends for years, right? Mm. So to be fair, me, you and me, Sid, I'm not going to ever say that you shot me. Right. You're right. my best friend. It is what it so is. So I'm going to give yeah. her a little grace about that. It's it's, it's not going to ruin her career, but it is going to be like, damn, why didn't you just say it? But that's your best friend. You know, right. ride or die, right. hoes before bros. Mm. But Ugh. what I'm saying is, Tory had the, the, he got arrested for the gun charges. Now you stupid. You know you not even like, you're not even supposed to be around guns. Right, you know that. So he's stupid for that. And then he also stupid because you know, just say that she shot her. He never said it was Kelsey. He mm-hmm. just said it wasn't him. Mm-hmm. You don't know this bitch. Say it. So I still think regardless, he was going to end up in jail. He should have still ended up in jail. He's still stupid. No, no, no. Regardless, he is going to end up in yeah. jail because regardless if he shot her or not, like you said, the charge was not the shooting. The charge was violating the fact that he's not supposed to be anywhere in the same vicinity as a gun. And regardless if he was a shooter or not, there was a gun in that situation and he was in close proximity. So he violated his his parole. Now, let's look at this in the, in, in the grand scheme of things, right? So knowing that he's not supposed to be in the vicinity of a gun, right? Mm-hmm. And he's in a SUV not knowing that there's a gun present because he wasn't the one that was the shooter. And he's in the the, the, the SUV and this chick, Kelsey, they get into an argument. Kelsey pulls out a gun. Mm-hmm. Now Toro Dan is like, ah, oh, fuck. I'm in a predicament where this chick got a gun. I can't be around guns. He's fucked up. He, I mean, regardless, he's fucked. Regardless, he's, he's, he is fucked. Right, he's fucked. There's no way to get around that. She shoots this. She shoots uh, Megan Thee Stallion. Now, video and all this shit is out. So now, yeah. Tory Lanez is in his predicament. Yeah. What do you think? What do you want Tory to do? I mean, honestly, that's like something I that said, he couldn't control. He, he's fucked. He's fucked. Couldn't well, either way, he's he's damned if he do and he damned if he doesn't. But I feel like. To to allude to Terrence's point, oh, I feel like Hove. Hove yes, I, yeah, him and wait, hold on the Grammy. No, he got a Dr. Dre Global Impact Award. That's why the Carters are there. Shout out to the Carters. Oh, hold on, love. hold on. Let me hear this right quick. Put this on low. We alive right now. We alive right now. You know the Grammys. <laughs> Watching the Grammys. Uh huh. The sippy cup for blue. Grown up now, she doesn't take sippy cup, and she uh-huh. has her own Grammys. Uh huh. This is a Grammy for what? That's a black Grammy? Thanks to no, this is the Global Impact. No, no, that shit is black. Yeah, it is a black Grammy. Up oh, there he is. Andre Young, thank you, sir. All the doors yeah, that you open. so pretty when she gets You know, showed us that we can be um, 
rock stars, seeing you on the Rolling Stone. Obviously, there's Run DMC with the Leathers and the Aerosmith. But when you came out west, you took it to a whole new level. Put uh-huh. us on covers, Rolling Stone. Put us around the world. You and Snoop, all that y'all did, all the records y'all broke. So thank you for this. Um, on it, on it to accept it. On uh-huh. it to accept it. And thank you to the Black Music Collective for all the work that you guys do. Scholarships for young creatives. And hopefully, yeah, you know, I'm adding to you know what you guys are doing. I'm sorry, there. guys, we're watching the Grammys Obviously. live, so you know, uh, it's uh, Shut up, watching the Grammys live. Have a, an award um, for such an icon. Okay. Talk about it. Talk about it, Hove. Uh huh. Hove in the subtle jokes, yo. But then, 98, I took a page out of their book. I was nominated for Best Rap Album, and DMX had dropped two albums that year. They both were number one. Shout out to DMX. Word. And he was. We'll forget about that. So I How? It and I watched the Grammys. I love it. <laughs> Talk about it. Right. That's why we love hoes. We want y'all to get it right. At least get it close to right. All right. And obviously, it's subjective. Y'all don't got to clap at everything. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, it's subjective because, you know, it's music and it's opinion based. But, you know, some things, you know, I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. So, mm. even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Right. Talk, talk, ho. talk to Chick, ho. Beyonce gonna cuss his ass out of limo. Okay. Didn't I tell you? Please. You know. uh-huh. okay. Some of you gonna go home tonight and feel like you've been robbed. Some of you may get robbed. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you may get robbed. Oh, they got LA, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. This, oh, oh, he talking oh, shit. He talking shit. No, when I get nervous, I tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Hope is funny. Well, outside of that, outside of that, you know, we got to keep showing up. And forget uh-huh. the Grammys for a second, just in life. As, I, as my daughter st- sits and stares at me nervous as I am. Um, <laughs> um, just in life, you got to keep showing up. Just keep showing up. Uh-huh. Forget the Grammys. You got to keep showing up. Keep showing up. Until, you, until they give you all those accolades you feel you deserve. Right. Until they call you chairman. Until right. Until they call you a genius. Right. Until they call you the greatest of all time. Right. You feel me? You feel me? Ho! Rock, nigga. Shut up. Brooklyn, what up? Look at Giselle. She's so fucking beautiful. Brooklyn, what up? I'm telling you. I love Beyonce. Yeah. Blue Ivy. Beautiful. She's going to be beautiful. Hey, yo, man. Nas, I mean, Nas is my favorite I rapper, really but just Hov just does something to the culture. Thanks. Yeah. He just does something to the culture. Like, even that little subtle speech right there, watch tomorrow, is going to be a whole bunch of memes and shit because of that fucking speech. You don't got to clap for everything. You don't got to clap for everything. <laughs> I'm definitely you know, people, some name. people not, shouldn't have been in a category. Right? You know, like, that's just Hov, man. That's how he been. You know, shout out to Hov, Brooklyn. What up? Yeah, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, what was that? No, that's it. That was it for me. That was it? Yeah. Okay. All right. So what would you do? Oh, Let's give a round of applause for Tom Sawyer Hot Topic Birthday. Come here. Come here. Come here. I love it. Come here. Come here. What would you do? Now, again, disclaimer, my what would you do is are always um, based off of my experiences or they are based off of experiences of others. So this is what would you do is based off my experience this past uh, Thursday, Training Day CLT, oh, gosh. last open mic. <laughs> So, oh gosh, I'm a young lady had hit me up hmm. and was like, yo, I'm coming to training day, CLT, the last open mic. Okay, cool. Now, granted, this young lady that came to training day, CLT, previously had brought another young lady who got really inebriated and fucked up and was bad for business. And I told this young lady, do not bring this young lady to the spot no more because she can't handle her liquor. So cool. So then she was like, I'm coming. So I'm like, who are you coming with? And she said, I'm coming with a friend. I'm like, okay, who's the friend? They didn't want to disclose a friend. Okay, that's fine. So we had training day CLT. 
And my girl, Chabby, comes to me and like, yo, such and such is at the door. No, fuck that. Poetic Pariah is at the door. Yeah, I'm so glad you said the name because I promised to God if you didn't, I would have. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, I yeah. I promise you I would have. She was like, Poetic Pariah is at the door. So I'm like, okay. You know, so I'm fuck is you hearing doing that. Here? Fuck is you doing here? So, yeah, my mom like, what's she doing here? But on the other side of that, who is she with? Right. And she was with the young lady that told me that she was bringing a friend. So they proceeded to come in. I'm, I'm going to break down the stories. I'm just going just gonna to get there. <laughs> so they come inside. They sit at the bar and shit like that. So I immediately, immediately text the young lady, why the fuck did you bring her here? You should have told me who you was bringing, and I would have told you do not bring this individual here. So the what would you do would be because you brought her to a venue where there is high tension and there is uh, a possibility of you getting your ass beat. What would you do? High possibility. High po- huh? <laughs> high, high possibility. possibility. What would you do if you was that friend and the girl that you bought to the establishment is getting mushed in the fucking bathroom to the point where you got to be in a predicament where I might have to fucking fight because I bought this girl here and I got to be a, not a friend, but somebody that bought this girl here to to feel like I got her back. So what would you do if you was that girl that bought this girl here and she's in the bathroom getting her ass humiliated Mm. And you in the middle of that, what would you do mm. as the friend? You don't you you don't say the girl name. What's the girl name? I can't say the girl name. I don't want to say the girl name. Poetic, the girl name. Can I say it? No, Poetic Pariah is the girl. But can I, don't I say, say the, the girl name? Poetic, girl name. Poetic, no, no, no. We're not gonna say that because I'm cool with her. I'm really po- cool. With poetic Pariah is the girl that got smushed. Yes, yeah. Poetic Pariah is the girl that got smushed. She got smushed, mushed, and rich smushed, in the mushed, and bugushed. If I was the friend who name we not gonna say. First of all, and I'm going to just say this because we're going to clip this so you're going to see it. And, you know, if you feeling froggy, y'all know where I be at every Wednesday. Okay. You you was explicitly told to not bring this child to the... No, 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 no. She wasn't told. She didn't inform me who she was bringing. Mm. But, so, you, but you told her before not to bring her around no more. No, no, no. I didn't know who she was bringing. So she had... She didn't... But because she didn't tell, tell me who she was bringing, I didn't have the opportunity to say... Don't bring her. She's drama. She's oh, this. Okay, got you. So she bought her to bring her. I mean, if my friend get much girl code says I gotta go in there and, and jump fight. In. Yeah, I gotta go in there and jump in. in. Mm. But you know, listening to how y'all talk about this other child, mm. poetic pride, says so you just need to stay out of open mics and, bars. and stay out of married men's inboxes. Yeah. Oh Sorry. shit! I didn't say that, but if that's you, sis, there's a word um, in the uh, in the quotations of my girl Nene Leaks: "Keep your legs closed and marry men." Mm. And there's that on that, Ooh. and of course, as always, I had to put a disclaimer. I got to do disclaimers now because of previous. Uh-huh. Right. If y'all feeling froggy about what I say, y'all know where I be every Wednesday. You already know, but listen, don't get your back blown in playing with me. Okay, so, false. You know, false. and that's that's not what the fuck I mean. So, so. what would you do? She just said she fighting. I'm gonna gotta fight. It's girl code. Girl code said you come with me regardless Mm -hmm. of if I feel like you in the wrong. I'm gonna jump in now. Mm -hmm. After privately, I'm gonna take bitch. Why did you do that? Like you know why you why you like that? But girl code automatically states I'm jumping in. X and that's this is friend code. Like Mm -hmm. God forbid is one of y'all and we know you wrong in the beginning. Yeah, fuck you. I'm gonna hold you down in public. Privately, Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you now. See, why the fuck did you do that? Like so that's girl code. Facts. Okay. What would you do, Trap? Agreed. Same girl code. Same girl like, code. Literally, I don't care if I just met you earlier today and we mm-hmm. decided we was going out and some shit happened. I came with you. We fighting together. Fuck it. Yeah. Right. We got to. Uh, oh, I'm scared to ask Humble. Yeah, don't ask me shit. <laughs> what would you do, <laughs> Humble? In a reverse role, if that was in you know, Mel's perspective, what would you do? Yeah. You bought your homeboy and then your homeboy in the bathroom getting his head mushed into the yeah. wall. Mush is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm trying to imagine this girl getting mushed. Getting mushed. And to be fair, to whoever this girl, you got, I would never let a, bu- a bitch mush me. You need to teach a man how to squab. Well, I'm surprised I mean, they was able to push that big ass head, though. I ain't going to hold you. Oh, shit. I mean, that shit heavy. Shit. After they mushed her, she called the police on them. Oh, you was a police ass bitch. Yeah, after that. She I was to, literally in the bathroom. I, as your friend, I had to mush you out there because we don't do that. We 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 don't <laughs> handle do handle your bi right. Handle yeah, your bi. We don't do that. I we feel don't. like I feel like 
as the friend that didn't know that the person I'm bringing has something to do with it, the person that I'm bringing, if you knew he was going to this venue and you knew people already was feeling a way about you, why would you not say that? At least if me. you didn't know if we was going before and we pull in the parking lot, say some shit. Say some shit. Don't right. just have me like a deer in the headlights when bitches start beating on you in the bathroom and I don't know what the fuck is going on. Right. Damn, mm-hmm. that's Damn crazy. you got mush in the bathroom. It could never be me because I would never let a bitch get close enough to mush me. Sucker. You getting mush in the bathroom is is really six us. Like, Mushed. you just got to. Multiple times. And Multiple I'm, I'm, time. you, I'm just thinking, like, how did you let these bitches do that to you? <laughs> how did you let these bitches do that to you? I don't think she let them. Well, I was about to say, okay, so. From the inside perspective of the bathroom. Yes, give it to me because I'm confused now. <laughs> now. She had a choice. Now we're gonna have to break this down. Like she had a in. choice. Okay, uh-huh. she had two choices actually. What was the, the choice? The choice was get your ass beat in this bathroom uh-huh. between us, or get your ass beat in the venue in front of everybody. Uh huh. Ah. Or or the other choice was get your ass beat in the parking lot across the street. To be fair, you yeah. know. To be fair, you know I'm a show stopping ass bitch. We'd have to fight right there in front of in the middle of training day. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. a your ass across this floor. You're, I'm a your ass across this floor. Gotta go out with a pain. I mean, <laughs> and if I'm losing, that's fine, but I'm gonna yerp your ass while you can. You, if a bitch mushed me, we just, for, the story should have been that they was in there scrapping. No. It was, it was, they pressed poetic about the issue. Mm-hmm. Obviously, she don't know what they talking about. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. That didn't happen, blah, blah, blah. You know, cop and please. Mm-hmm. It was, your, your options, get your ass beat here, get your ass beat outside, get your ass beat in the parking lot, uh-huh. your choice. She didn't do nothing. Then the next thing that was said was, well, you keep looking at me like it's a fucking problem, so what's the fucking problem? Ooh. Mm. And at the that phone point, came out, and mm. 911 was immediately dialed, uh, see, mm. and then the mushing began. <laughs> see, that wouldn't happen with me, because once you said that to me, mm. I'm like, well... What's, what's the issue, right? What's the issue? See, sis, that's right. where you fucked up at. Mm-hmm. You don't back down. You should have done something. And so now, going forward from this podcast, my my idea of you now is pussy. pussy. So poetic. I feel like I can go musher. Po- yeah, mm-hmm. poetic justice. No, poetic justice. I mean, poetic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Poetic pariah the pussy. Poetic I mean, pariah, a.k.a. Anifia. Uh, Damn. Oh, put shit. all the stage names out. Well, fuck out. it. Uh-huh. I mean, what's her real name, bro? Huh? I know you know. I'm not gonna put a real name out there. No, I ain't gonna do that. Oh, that's is it Pariah? Huh? Yeah, that's is the we first talking. name Pariah. Yeah, this the same one. This the same one we've been talking about. The this same old one. Hey, sis follows me on IG. Well, I know. I see. I can't wait to clip watch this. your man tears. I can't <laughs> right. wait to clip this. I bet she probably follow your man too. Go look at the mutuals. First of all, sis, let me tell you something. One thing about it, two things for <laughs> show. I swear to God, she you been in Jamaica too. Uh, you, you <laughs> listen. You, you. Let me tell you something about my. Hold on. Let me tell you something about my man. <laughs> Let me tell you something about she Mike, man. Mic up. You will never, sis, you will never, ever. ever, ever play with me like that, ever. So don't, you know, keep your legs she gonna closed. She's going to follow. She's going to unfollow you after this. And that's fine. She can't keep your legs closed and marry men. You know, do what you got to do, but just, you know, I just, the whole mushing thing, sis. And it's crazy because the way she be talking on Instagram stories, mm-hmm. I would have never gathered that you got mushing. Terrence. In the Did you see the last Instagram story? Yeah, That's I did. how the head was hitting against the wall. In the I would the way she be talking on Instagram stories. I would have never guessed she was getting. Us. I don't know. Oh. I was watching a story the other night. She was talking to somebody about something. That was me. She what was she talking was about <laughs> about music trash or something like that. That was that was, that was me when she said uh, about the open mic mics and shit. Yeah, what she say? What she say? Talking about me. She was basically and I got that sent to me. She was basically saying, you know, I guess CEO I told you gave her an opinion or something. No, I told her like you still out here doing open mics. I could have elevated you, and you still doing open mics. Yeah, so she had a response. <laughs> she doing karaoke night. Karaoke night. <laughs> yeah, so looking she, stupid as fuck on stage. Some big she ass temple going on. She yeah. was she I was gotta like, see if that shit is still up. Bro. She Hold was on. like, she no, was going, it's going. She was like, um, nah, trust you, me. Um, a nigga tell a man, a person telling me about elevating. I'm doing it, and whatever God has for me has for me. Yep. But the way she was talking on that, it was talking real bossy, right? right? So I'm assuming that you that bitch, but apparently you mm. not. So I mean, what's not correlating here? To be fair, I would love an in person interview because I just want to ask. Hell some no, shit. nah, no, I don't think that would ever happen. Just so call me on Instagram. But, I'll interview. Stupid. Oh, you still got it? That was uh, when they went to the. Um, she just Nora. looked so dumb. I'm sorry. She, that is a video oh, I showed you earlier. Guy, I saw him. She just I looked so the stupid. Cool, yeah, Chris Gear Chris Gear yeah, cool as fuck. Shout out Chris Gear. So you know, it's it's like what Colin would you Pratt. do? You know, if you are the friend that brought a young lady to a venue where there's a lot of tension, and the young lady is getting mushed on the verge of getting yeah. her ass beat, what would you Anipia. do if you are in the middle of that? So. <laughs> 
Okay. What happened was let's tag it. Um, <laughs> let's do that. I let's pulled the young lady outside, mm-hmm. and I told her like, "Listen, stay out of this shit. Yeah, this is not your problem. If they start whooping her ass, don't help. Leave that alone." <laughs> <laughs> to be fair though, <laughs> if if the person that was mushing her in the bathroom did not hop on her ass, there was gonna be at least three or four other people that wanted to hop on her that ass. That wanted to hop on her ass at night. So she was bound for an ass. She was bound regardless. for an ass. Just, who was the question of the night? She was bound and I saved her for the night. Mm. I could have had gave her the gave the green light. To get your ass whooped. Damn, but I saved her. Damn, so she did get elevated from ass whooping. She got elevated <laughs> from an ass whooping. Because. I was screaming. And, you know, she had the nerve to not only well, make that post on Instagram, but to hit me up that night and uh, try to turn the, the person that came with her against me. Oh wow! Oh yeah. wow! That, that seems very true to her character. That yeah, yeah. And I'm sitting here while she's doing that. I'm talking to the young lady simultaneously while you talking to me because you feel that you are going to turn this young lady against me, and it didn't work. Mm. <laughs> and I'm and it didn't work, but you know. Damn. Uh, yeah. Well, we, we got a sound bite for that. We got a damn. I don't yeah. know, but it's Hit a meme. Soundbite. It's a meme of somebody hitting their head on the wall, and I'm gonna just post it on the page tomorrow. Let's see if everybody going you know what we talk. Damn. About. Really, damn. Nigga? Damn. <laughs> You know, so, uh, you know, that was I wanted. I wanted to. I was. I was waiting to get on here and do this, and I can't wait till this shit get clipped up. You know, uh, because this is a young lady that felt that she. Was trying to get a one up on me, and it backfired tremendously, you know. And I feel good because, you know, you can't fuck with me. Leave me alone. I'm I'm peaceful. I can I cannot wait to clip this to post I'm because peaceful. I want to hear I want to hear a response. Like, I'm and peaceful. and to be fair, I want this to be clear. And, and they'll back me up. I'm coming into this. I don't know anything about this. So mm. I'm really neutral. But as I'm hearing, mm. and you know, they don't want to talk to you. But since you can always hit my DMs, I want to hear your side of the story. <laughs> Getting mush <laughs> in the bathroom at the, before you got on Instagram talking big ball shit is wild. It's wild. Because one thing about me, um, if I'm going to talk shit on Instagram, you can see me in person. I'm going to say the same shit. Okay. Mm. And we can fight. And I may not win. I'm going to mm. let y'all know. I may not win. But I but promise you, you out. I'm gonna stand on business. At least you're gonna try to protect mm. yourself. Cause mm. since after they done, after they asked me all that wild shit, I would have just started swinging and made the best man win. And that's just and that's just and, that. And the crazy thing about that is, and I'm gonna end this here, is that I could have exposed this young lady with all of that, mm-hmm. right? And I could have had the backing of the person that came with you to. Back me on mm-hmm. these statements because mm-hmm. my relationship with that person is way stronger than what you try to debunk it for. Right. Um. And I and 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 that was just be me being me and having a good heart and saving your ass from getting an ass whooping. I literally saved you because the young lady came to me and was like, "Yo." I want to beat her ass. And mm-hmm. I specifically told the young lady, listen, we're not doing this here. If you do want to whoop her ass, take it over in the parking lot across the street. But we're not going to do this here in this establishment, especially not on this night that we're having for last year in the day COT. Right. We're not going to do that here. Right. Right. But in saying that, I did have a change of heart. And I did give the green light. <laughs> I'm screaming. To go whoop her motherfucking ass. <laughs> CEO Suge I'm Knight. Screaming. After CEO she didn't Knight. leave. Literally Suge Knight. And it's crazy because Humble, this is the most that Humble done talked all night. And he is over here just like giggling. And <laughs> because she wouldn't leave because I was telling the young lady that they came and with. Right. I told her the young lady that came with, leave. Go. And I, I was telling the young lady, leave her alone. Like, leave her there. Right. Just. Leave her there, get let her get an ass whipped or whatever you do because I gave the green light. And and given the green light, they went 
in there because I got intel that she was still in the bathroom. So I said, mm-hmm. yo, she's in the bathroom. Go whoop her ass in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Lock the door and whoop her ass. So they proceeded to go there to whoop her ass, but she was back at the bar. Sure. So the young lady was standing at the bar next to her, looking at her, and that's when she called the security yeah. to walk into the car. And I fell asleep when I was going to make it out. That was, I'm mad I didn't make it out there. It was a great night. Because I would have instigated It was a shit. great night. It was a great night. But to you, what would you do? You know, what would you do in that situation if you was the young lady that bought this lady to an establishment where there's high tension and she knew that she would potentially get her ass beat and you had to be in the middle of that to defend her. If you was that person, what would you do? Yeah, comments could be good with this one. Woo! I can't wait to clip this. Yeah, we're gonna Woo! we're gonna tag it. Woo! Gonna, yes. We tag it. Yeah, we're, I'm we're tagging. Tag yeah, we tag it, we're tagging it. We're tagging it. We're definitely tagging. Now you know what? No, no, because I'm at a place of peace. Don't worry about nah, it. Nah, fuck not, that. You in a place of peace. We not. We not, 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 not on the podcast page. But you know what's going to be crazy? And I'm going to tell you now. It's not going to be come from me. If it come from y'all, it's going to be directed right back at me. And that's fine. Yeah. You know. And so. this is again, we bringing back girl code. You know, girl code, but bro code. Like, right. what's up? We got your bag. What would you do? <sighs> what would you do? All right, give me. What start. would you do if you tried to say something and then we just beat your ass? Just keep that in mind. What would you do if <laughs> you got mushed again by me? What would you do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hit my tag so we can get started, man. Yes, hey. sir. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Damn. No, that's, not it. Yeah, that's one of my tags. <sighs> Cocktails with tea. Can we change that shit, too? That shit got to go, too. This nigga hate blossoms. <laughs> <laughs> That shit got to go too, bro. I'm Yo, sorry. What? No. God damn. Got a fucking press the other night at the bar because of this nigga. Oh, shh. This nigga. Right. Let me tell you about that, though. Hold on. Before we go into my segment. <sighs> because he told me that tea. he got pressed. I got to do it again. And mind you, I was sitting right beside him. Bro, three feet away. Happened. I'm what? like, nigga, help me. This was help the most me. non-confrontational pressing I have ever seen in my life. You got pressed by who? I legitly thought got, he was uh, giving her cocktails tips. with tea. Oh. oh, Blossom pressed them. I guess and on Thursday. Oh, I didn't. Well, literally, I'm thing. sitting right beside him. I guess as he's getting pressed. Right, I'm beside him. It was so non-threatening. I didn't think anything of. It. I really thought they was exchanging photography. I hope y'all fall the fuck back in them chairs. <laughs> <laughs> so what did she say to you? So what, what? Yeah, this is. You gotta hit. What did she say to you? God, bro. what happened? She See, brought, yo, you act like you don't know. I don't, I I don't know. I hate when niggas act like they don't know what the I fuck going no, on. No, I really don't know. I ain't talking to you. Oh, okay. really you know, know exactly what the fuck going on. I mean, I know. Exactly. You know. I didn't know. You know enough. I know enough, but I don't know what happened on Thursday. Nigga, I came directly to you after the shit happened and told you she just pressed me because of some shit you told her. Anyway, that's oh, not for, oh, that's not for oh, public. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, you did. I, we'll, I remember We'll now. talk about this after the show. Right. Shout out to um, Blossom. Hey, girl. I mean, fuck that shit. Let's, let's talk about it. Oh. Let's we are airing shit out on this episode. Yeah. I love it. So this is what happened. What happened? Right. So <laughs> I gotta get this. Uh, there was a birthday party, right? It was a birthday party. Uh huh. It was a birthday party. <sighs> where I think it was trapped. Oh, game party. night. Mm-hmm. On game night, ooh, right? Ooh, ooh, ooh. And what a great party! This young lady, Blossom, <laughs> had made an advance on me, mm. right? Now, <laughs> that's not what I heard. <laughs> that's not what you heard. To be honest, that's not what I heard either. Right, that was your, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you. My, I told, but I, what I, I tell you, I'm going to tell you the real. Woo. This is the real. So I was, you know, inebriated, and I was on the couch minding my oh, motherfucking business. Minding my business. Who was that? So this young lady proceeded to come on the couch and do shit with her mouth. <laughs> so I'm looking at her like going on? I'm sitting on the couch by y'all minding my business on the couch by myself. What's she doing y'all? She <laughs> doing all this licking shit with her mouth. You like a newborn baby trying to figure out what the fuck they is. <laughs> so I'm looking at her like the fuck is you doing? Right? So I'm like, okay. She's like, yeah, I'm I, you know, I'm drunk. And you know, that, I, that girl, I could, that I could, girl I, had one and a half shots. Yeah, I could suck dick and <laughs> I do all this shit. I shouldn't be saying this because I'm reconciling. I can't say this, but I mean, no, I could say it because at the time we wasn't my me and my wife was going through some shit. So I'm like, what the fuck is you want? Let's go to my car in the back and 
do what you do, do all that dumb shit you fucking doing, right? So it came back that I was the aggressor, that you I made her feel uncomfortable. Yeah, I made her feel uncomfortable. I was making passes at her and shit like that. So I told HB that's cap because you know this is what the fuck happened. And I approached the young lady and said, yo, why did you go back and tell this young man that I was... And that's where you fucked up at because that's where you betrayed my trust. It's not even trust because I, I'm... Gotta... <laughs> I see it ain't no trust, nigga. No, no, it's <laughs> hey, not even no no. trust at all in this friendship. No, it's not even trust. Is <laughs> no because... trust, no loyalty, no... No, 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 because <laughs> that shit. It, no, 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 because it's my character online and it's something that's not true. So if it's something that's not true... And is is that and is to me? I'm gonna I want to clear my name. I think you're still missing my point, bro. So no, me, I'm not missing the point. The, let me clear the air because I think okay, you still, go ahead. I think you're still missing my point. I think you're still missing why I was I was a little bothered by you on Thursday after okay. I, oh, after I got let's pressed. It. I love this. Here's the, here's my point, bro. Mm-hmm. I already done got pressed for the shit, so it's out now. Yes, I absolutely did confront CEO and ask him or tell him that I was being told that this particular individual. Blossom. Was uncomfortable Blossom. because you kept making passes at her and all this mm-hmm. shit, yes. right? Mm-hmm. I was the only person that came to you and told you that. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. No, well, well, yes, 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 yes. Right? Yes. I know I was. I was the only person that came to you and told you that. Yes. Mm-hmm. By you going to her and asking her, why would you tell such and such? That's where you betray my confidentiality in you because I'm the only person that told you that. So it's not like you can say somebody said X, right. Y, and Z mm-hmm. and. I don't like that that was said about me. Mm-hmm. I'm the only motherfucker that told you that shit. Right. So if you're going to ask her and then you drop your name dropped. Of course. Why I would you yes. go back and tell HB? <laughs> da, 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 da. Yes, right. of course. Cool. Of course. Respect <laughs> to you for not. Respect. I'm not going to hide that. No, no, yes, no. Of course. Cool. My thing is, bro. Mm-hmm. It wasn't never your name or your reputation wasn't ever tarnished. No, no. It's that, only one person that came to you about this, which is me. I know the bitch for the streets. Right. You can't sit up here and be mad at me for coming to you and telling you some shit. And then going back and being like, oh, well, my reputation was on the line. My name was tarnished and all this shit. Now, viewers, we are going what would you to. Do? <laughs> this episode is never coming out. <laughs> what would you do? But oh, it's coming out. We it's are going we need the content. to uh, address that because this nigga fucking hates her. I don't hate her. I do he not hate, hate her. He does not hate her. My nigga I, I, and I'm not in. I don't he, hate her, bro. No, he, <laughs> I don't, don't I don't hate I don't her. Know what the fuck? We got to cut this part of the episode. <laughs> this part of the episode got to get cut out. No, no, we're not cutting shit out. I, I, I don't know you don't have what. Your camera, you I don't, know I don't what hate her. I still have a record with the fucking camera. Blossom and HB he in the past. But I don't has, hate okay, her. But okay, so he, he has a huge disdain for this young lady. And he said this. He said, no, nah, I don't like that. He said it himself. And it's not nothing that I'm making up. This man said it out his mouth himself. So anything that is referenced with this young lady is going to tickle his fancy. Pause. I don't think that's the Pause. right term. That's Pause. not what you. That's, that's not, not the you, term that you that's use for that. I mean, that's it's grind my thing. gears. It's going to grind my gears. Grind his gears like that. Grind his gears. Whatever the fuck Pause I want to call it. Whatever. So, so that wasn't the point, CEO. The point is that I told you some shit in confidence, mm-hmm. and then. That same person that yes, I told but, to you, but you're missing my point, I'm my not nigga. Missing point. That's not even because you're so fucking, fucking stubborn. Because you're being a Taurus right now. Stop being about. a fucking Taurus right this now. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, I'm listening. Because I'm a Taurus too, Taurus nigga. And I know what you're pulling right I'm now. You're pulling that stubborn shit. Okay. The I'm point listening. of the matter is, yes. nigga, uh-huh. take accountability. I am for betraying the fact that I came to you about some shit confidently, and you fucking shared the you shared the shit I came to you about. You broke my trust. I didn't break the trust. Okay. He All right. He broke his trust. He said you broke okay. his trust. Okay. Okay. Listen. If you came to me and said X, Y, and Z says such and such and such and such, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And then I go back and tell X, Y, and Z that you said such and such and such, whatever they said, right? I mean, I, I, I really don't care because I tell a person myself. Just because you don't give a fuck doesn't mean it's okay for you to betray somebody else's confidentiality in you, bro. You're missing my point here. Everybody I'm likes to be loved. And now you're about to piss me off because you're playing my intelligence. I am not yeah. missing a point here. The point is, this nigga doesn't like Blossom, right? So that is the bottom line. How do we line. get back here? <laughs> no, no, no. no. He doesn't like here. Blossom. So, and I, and I had this conversation with him. I was like, yo, bro, we are talking about Blossom here. Somebody that is irrelevant 
And after she see this, she probably not gonna fuck with us no more. But I don't. She care. already don't fuck with us no more. I don't care. She don't. But is the simple fact she of who are we talking cool. about she here? And is in, in the her. scope. CEO. Of, hold CEO. on, hold on, hold on. And is in the scope of how it was talked about because blah, blah. she says some shit that wasn't right. true. It wasn't true. So I had to clear that up because it wasn't true. If it was a role reversal and it was some shit about you or you CEO. that wasn't true, I'm going to speak up and say, yo, that is not true. I already this when I came to happened. you when I came to you about the situation, I already told you I knew it wasn't true because we know who we talking about here. Yes. The what? whole night she was going to everybody on the same energy she what, came to you what with. What I'm saying is if you uh, was gonna if you was gonna address that, you could have left him out of it. it. Yeah. You left his name out of it. It was no way to leave his name out of it. No, not even that. Don't, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Not even that, because I'm the only person that told him that. Right, she's the only person from? that she I'm the only it person she came, came to nobody. about that. Right. The point that I'm making is, bro, me and you both know. That you wasn't the aggressor in that situation. Me and you both know that you didn't have to quote unquote clear your name. I did. Because, no, you. D- I did. I, I, well, I felt I had I had to clear my name. Why? I guess he's saying you didn't, you didn't have to clear because you he didn't had knew it wasn't true. Yeah, he knew it wasn't true. We we but we he was just we letting had you this know conversation. Yeah. Right, but, but but okay. So in my defense, right. Mm-hmm. If you knew it wasn't true, it was never said that it wasn't true. So in my defense, I had to go out and clear my name okay. and put everything on front street. That then tells me okay. that you that you somewhere in your uh-huh. logic in your world believe that this information would have gotten past me. What do you mean? She what he's saying is she, she came only directly told him. to me about this. She told nobody else. And then I came directly him. to you about this because on that night, mm-hmm. This is what I was trying to do, bro. This is great. I love she this came shit. to me about the situation. <laughs> I immediately came to you. I don't even. I don't even know if you noticed this, bro. Uh-huh. I immediately came to you and sparked up a conversation. Uh-huh. Because at the end of the day, oh, this whole girl code thing going on, whatever the case may be. Uh-huh. Cool. I'm on the same shit, right? Mm-hmm. If a young lady comes to me and says this man is making me feel uncomfortable by doing X, Y, and Z. <laughs> I'm going to spark a conversation up with you in the moment and try to get you distracted from whatever she got going on uh-huh. so that I can separate that situation. Bro, I already know what the fuck is the truth. Okay. This bitch was trying to fuck everybody that night. She was. She was trying to fuck anything moving. Nigga, the fish stopped swimming when she walked by. <laughs> oh, my God. I got to pee. Fuck is you talking about? The fish stops. The fish. She was trying to fuck anything moving that night, so I knew it wasn't true. So you didn't have to go be like, oh, it is not true. I already knew that. All the right. So the, matter, the fact of the matter is okay. I came to you in confidence, mm-hmm. and you trying to... It's very surface level. You're trying to make it so deep. I came to you in confidence uh-huh. about something. That mm-hmm. thing I came to you in confidence about, I ended up getting pressed about by that same person, which leads me to believe I cannot come to you in confidence anymore about shit because I, I got to worry about whether or not this shit's going to get back to the person I'm talking about. No, That's I mean, the you, point that I'm making, bro, and you're missing that point. I, I get that. I get that. Mm-hmm. I get that. But at the end of the day, who gives a fuck about Blasphem? <laughs> who gives a fuck? I don't care about what no is fucking the cocktails blossom? with tea? Right. I don't give a fuck about no blossom. How do we even get here? I don't know. That's what I'm so confused. Because we, 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 I, he it, pressed the tag and you said yeah. Okay, well, just remove the shit then. Yeah. Next time I ain't got to have this conversation. I don't give a fuck about no blossom. <laughs> we good, my nigga? We, come on. Give me some. Give me some. Come on, get out of light skin shit, nigga. Oh, He's probably oh, hangry, but like he tells me all the time, he could just go to sleep. Is, I mean, it's, this is Blossom we talking about. Like, who the shout fuck out, Shout out to No Advisory Podcast. One thing about yeah, us, we really... We no judgment, no advisory. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, That's that light skin shit. He cares. Sometimes, you know, we don't always agree on things that I y'all care because I thought I could trust you, nigga. You he, can. People done told me shit that I would... It's shit he won't never, even tell me. Right. So I know he, he can keep some... I things. can keep... It's shit that people <laughs> done told me. But in that instance... I don't care about this young lady. So I felt like I care about it was something I that care. wasn't, I didn't care. I didn't I think like you that. would care neither, but I, I, I like see now awesome. you care. But I didn't think you would care because, and I told you this. I'm like, nigga, this is blossom we talking about. Why the fuck would you care? But I see that you care. So I didn't know. I apologize. Bro. It could have been Garfield. I think he I didn't cares know. as your friend, as somebody that you yeah. know, he don't want anybody. He just right. wants you to be right, cool. right. And I get it. I get it, said. bro. I get it. I can sit here and say, yo, I'm sorry. I didn't think at that particular moment and with that particular person that it mattered that much to you. I didn't know. Like I said, it could have been Garfield. Okay. It's I'm the sorry. situation, not the I'm person. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Bro. I'm sorry. 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 I'
that go to the grave that they will never know because of the certain situations. I didn't think this situation really mattered that much to for 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 it to care. But I okay, everybody's different. I'm sorry. I apologize. Wow. Well, well apologize. cocktails with tea. Okay, right. That's I was like, I don't even have nothing for y'all to be honest. Is that I, mean, I think my whole segment canceled tonight too. Let's just I mean, Thank y'all for watching. Anybody else y'all don't like? I mean, we address. I don't them. like all you motherfuckers training day, you motherfuckers. I don't like you B4E Smook. I don't like oh, you yeah, 2K Young no more. I was about to say, I don't it's like a lot none of, of y'all niggas. I don't like. None of y'all motherfucking niggas. And, and the thing about it is, y'all niggas talk all this shit on fucking Instagram. Mm-hmm. Y'all know where we be at. Y'all had the opportunity to come see us no, no, on no. Thursday. Even before that, when they get pressed about it in the DMs, Niggas all of a sudden got memory loss and don't know what the fuck you talking about. Y'all know I'm where be so scared. I'm my shake we are at me. well where we was at Everyone every down. Tuesdays and every Thursday. Y'all know yeah. where the fuck we was at. If it was that much of a problem, y'all should have came and pressed us then. X. Fuck the internet shit. X. Niggas do the internet shit to get clout and to get people to talk about this shit. No. I don't do that shit. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Come see me at Training Day CLT on a Tuesday or Thursday, and we could address it there. Okay. That's it. All that internet shit is for the fucking internet. Wow. I don't do that shit. I am too old. I'm not too old, but I am old enough not to do that shit. If there is a problem, come see me. I am there faithfully. Well, was there faithfully every Tuesday or every Thursday? And if there was a problem and if I decided not to come there, I will be there so I could address the problem because that's I'm old school and I like to fight. I don't fight no more, but I will fuck a nigga up if I have to. So this is going to y'all niggas. Because y'all was talking all this insubliminal shit. None of y'all niggas DM me. None of y'all niggas um directly tag me. Yes. So it is so if y'all not doing that, then I'm I'm me. I'm like it doesn't matter. I'm not addressing it. You know what I'm saying because you didn't directly direct it at me. Okay. Well, I'm gonna address it, and okay. I'm gonna just say first of all, I'm not taking nobody serious. That's got a song called "Why Body Scat Pulling Up in the Altima." You already lying in your fucking raps. Oh my god! How can I believe anything that come out your snagger tooth ass mouth? You rotten tooth, no having tooth on the side, motherfucker with dirty ass dreads. Oh, Don't you fuck. ever in your fucking life a fucking weak ass Damn. diss song and then have the audacity to say you're gonna come to our fucking venue and shoot it? Fight again, nigga. Go see a dentist before you come see us. Who is this? B4E Smoke. B4E Smoke. And 2K Youngin, and you're 2K a follower. Youngin, 2K you Youngin. You are younger. You're a follower. Because Bruh. you had no problem with us until you became buddy-buddy with this nigga. And now all of a sudden you got a problem. Bruh. And just like I told you in the DMs, I'm going to say it again. If you had such a big problem with us, you never had no problems before DMing us about shit. Why you couldn't DM us about why you didn't win? Nigga, I'm going to tell you the same thing I told you. You don't have good stage presence, number one. You barely know the words to your own fucking songs, number two. Number three, you perform one song one week and then expect people to learn the words and then come back the next week and be like, oh, I didn't win. Performing some new shit. Nobody knows what the fuck you're saying. You're arguing. You got your girl paying you $10 to $15 to get in because you don't got no money. Like, come on. Stop playing with us. I just. Stop playing with us. Stop playing with us. Anybody that's got a haggle for $10. To get into a venue and they're supposed to be artists, you already is losing in life, oh. buddy. Find somebody else safe to play with. I just I got time. I looked at the Instagram. I saw. I see the. Diss, you see the tooth? I see the diss song. Yeah, but but did to you see fair, the rotten tooth? Any side. any nigga that got to link up with the ops to to murder right. somebody is wild because I see the hashtags. Right. The hashtag is ATMM, and that's that other open mic, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's any niggas that got to link up with the ops is wild. So and threatening to just shoot up a a venue on Instagram is like CEO said the other day. Putting that shit on the internet is wild because you're not. You're not, not gonna do it. You're I'm not gonna, gonna do serious. it. You're not gonna do it. Which brings me to my next point. Since we we're gonna officially turn this segment into shots with tea because <laughs> this is the last Woo. time I'm gonna address this shit on this episode. The last time I addressed it, Invader Docs, you bitch ass nigga. <laughs> He's still going. You got your ass up on Instagram, threatening to drive from Rock Hill to Charlotte. 
for problems. And I'm here to tell you now, bitch. I want to see you. Pull up to see me.